What's good, everybody? Trevor James again. I'm back home now. Um, off the road for a little bit. Go back out in uh, like two days. So uh, I wanted to continue the tutorial a little bit more. Uh, I'm in my little studio area. And today I will go over this base plus comparison with the lovely SBs right here. So again, this is the P base, this incredible PB5, which they have PB4 as well. You can get the, the uh, P base pickups or the Jazz pickups, or I think they, they have the Humbucker uh, as well. And again, reiterating these, uh, this Jazz pickup is different than the SB. These, these are brand new pickups uh, that they made for this, for this base. Uh, but this is the uh, front and back pickup. B string. There's both pickups right there. Now the back pickup. pickup or the front you never use uh, you never use lose that uh, that great P bass tone it's still there that tone is still there no matter where you play now one thing I love about this is when I'm slapping a lot, as opposed to the SB, this gives you a lot more room to really get into the string. You can really get in there without any pickup there, prohibiting your slapness, if you will. Uh, but this is a great bass. Again, this, that what you just heard right now was in, um, in passive mode, so active mode. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take we're gonna take all the bass out. We're gonna take all the bass out, and I'm going to turn my mids down. So this is an active with no bass. That's pretty much everything um, about this bass. I mean, you can get every tone. This is bass you take in the studio, get you every sound you want. You know, uh, it's for theaters, bars, you know, uh, people that, that just starting out playing. This is, you know, or people that have been in the business for centuries. So this is an absolute amazing, amazing bass. And I'm so honored to be part of Carbon to play this bass. And, uh, and, Take it with me on my shows and everything, because this thing is, is literally insane. Insane. So, 
that's the PB5. Now, some of you are probably asking, well, I have my SB. You know, what's the difference? What's the difference? So right now, I'm going to show you uh, my two SBs back here and com kind of compare the difference. If you can hear it through the camera, through your computer, and all that. So we're going to try the SB5000 right now. Um, I have two of them. Uh, one has is a maple neck with uh, black nylons, which it'll definitely give you a different sound. So I'm just going to show you my other one with regular regular strings, same pretty much the same specs as uh, that uh, ebony fingerboard, maple neck, ash body. So we're going to do a little comparison here. Okay, so this is the SB in passive mode. And again, everything on the amp is set flat, so there's nothing, you know, I don't have any magic up there, I don't have any crazy treble to bass up there, everything is set flat. So this is the SB in passive mode. As you can kind of hear, hopefully you can hear, is that it's a little bit deeper sound, a little bit more scoop kind of sound to it. You don't get as much grit. There's grit there, but it's not, it's not as, as punchy. So that's both pickups. Here's back pickup. Again, we're still in passive mode, so this is back pickup now. Sound like. So this is the P bass sound for the, the SB. See how you kind of lose that 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 depth from playing here right over the front pickup to going to the back pickup. So you have so it gets a little thinner. So that's one of the, the main points that I loved about the, the P bass is no matter where you are on the neck, I mean on the uh, on the bass, uh, you don't lose that, that, that gritty P bass sound. So that's one thing. You don't have to change your position. You know, if you're with this, you know, if I want to get that sound, I do have to play a little higher. I don't I can't just stay back there, it's a little bit thinner. So that is the Front, uh, we did the front pickup, back pickup, and uh, both pickups. So now I'm going to switch it over to active. See, it's got a lot. If you can hear that, there's a lot more depth. There's a lot more bottom. You know, it's a, it's very, it's, it's a lot warmer. It's, it's warmer, but it has that scoop kind of sound to it. So. So that is, this is with the uh, treble up in the bass at 9 o'clock. So here is the uh, mids down. Okay, so here's back pickup with the mid. That real Jocko sound. Here's uh, mids up and front pickup. See, it's still a little, it's a little thinner, still there, but not as authentic and not as punchy. It's still there, but it's more so right here. fantastic sound but you lose a little bit from from the uh, the P bass so now front pickup I mean both pickups on see and then you see you have if I, I feel it you have a little bit more or less slap finger space in there I like the you know the pickers a little further down I mean that's a P bass but still you get a, you can get in there a little bit more so here's both pickups and uh, bass at nine 
and the treble. See, scoop sound. All right, so I'm gonna go real quick. So remember this sound. All right, so that's the slap sound of the P bass. I'm gonna switch over. I mean, uh, this is slap sound of the SB, and I'm gonna switch over real quick to the P bass so you can hear the difference. Same settings, nothing's been touched on here. It's the same exact settings as, as I have on my, my SB. So here's. Plus you get the warmth of it, and plus you don't have to move anywhere on the neck to get that sound. So then... That's right. So that's that. Hopefully that helped a little bit. Um, so you can hear the difference. You know, some of you might have been like, oh, I got an SV, I can get the same sound. No, it's definitely a different sound. It's definitely a punchier, grungy, grungier type of sound between this one and, and the SB. The SB, SB is fantastic, but it's got its own sound, its own sound category, and this has its own sound category as well. So that is the PB5 right there, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, this is it. This is a fantastic bass. Shout out to Carvin, uh, shout out to Jeff Kiesel over at Carvin that put, the, put this bass together. He's actually coming out, uh, designing a new, uh, another bass, uh, a neck through bass. So for those neck through uh, bass players out there, watch out, be on the lookout for a new bass. Um, shout out to Manny and all the, the Carvin fam, all my buddies over at Carvin and the Carvin lovers that play, that are endorsed Carvin and just Carvin enthusiasts. So anyways, uh, that's that. That is this bass. That's the SB. You got to hear that. And um, check out uh, Carvin.com. Uh, go to their website and order yourself one of these. If, uh, if you uh, felt so inclined to, uh, to go get one, which you should. I mean, come on. You're, you're not going to get a, a bass that sounds this great, looks this great for what the price will be. You know, anywhere else you're gonna go, it's gonna be, it's gonna, be, you're, gonna you're gonna break the bank. But with this, you, you can, it's quality. You know, that every every guitar that they build, it, it, their hands, somebody's hands, are on it, brushing it down. I mean, the the work that goes into these instruments are incre are incredible. So that's that, everybody. Uh, go to uh, Carvin's fan page. Uh, go there, like like them, check them out, and. Uh, they put up videos, you know, carving uh, little factory tours or what they're doing behind the scenes or, you know, updates on new instruments that are coming out, new amps that are coming out, things of that nature. Uh, check out my fan page, Trevor James fan page, uh, Facebook, and um, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any other questions about bases or carving or, or whatever setup or whatever setup I use or do, feel free to... Uh, to ask your question, I'd be happy to uh, get back to you and, and answer them if I can, if it's possible. Uh, but yeah, that's that, everybody. Everyone have a great, funky day. And uh, yeah, go out there and get one of these beasts, because it's insane. It's insane. <laughs>